Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Libra. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And the timing is fluid on this reading, okay? So keep that in mind. I was just kicked out of the bathroom by my little Libra daughter. I was only in there for like two minutes doing my hair. I need to get in there. I need to get in there. I got to do mine too. You need to get out of there. <laughs> I said to her, I said, I've only been in here a couple minutes. When I got out, she said, you were in there for 10 minutes. I said, I was not. I got to do mine too. Anyhow, let's see. What do we got for Libra? Two of them fell out as I was shuffling. The first one is dagger. Fear, worries, tense situations. The next one, mm, chair empty. Someone is leaving your life. So someone is leaving your life. You're gonna, you're obviously gonna be in a tense situation you could also be fearful because the fear is before. It's before the chair empty. So you may be scared that that is going to happen. But, you know, that could signify that somebody is. So let's, let's see. And that doesn't mean, that means they're just leaving your life for one reason or another. Um, so let's get one of these. This is my deck, which is sold out right now. And I'm going to order a big shipment uh, here next week and then I'll list them again so anyway what do we have for Libra Sun Moon Rising and Venus oh we had a few but they are there was too many what do we have for Libra replace your fear with faith so that's pretty interesting because I said it could just be your fear you may be fearful that somebody is leaving your is leaving your life, um, but somebody actually could be. But it could just be your fear that that is the case. Let's get replace your fear with faith. You're in there's in fear, worries, tense situations. You're in a tense situation. Everything happens for a reason. What do we have for Libra? I'm using the Romance Angels deck. You deserve love. You are lovable. You deserve love. So you deserve love, Libra. Maybe your chair has been empty for a while and, you know, it's time for you to go after what you need or to let somebody in or something like that. So uh, there is someone is leaving your life. Replace your fear with faith. Maybe you need to let somebody go. So that because you deserve love, maybe it's your choice, you know, maybe you're in a tense situation because you have to choose to let somebody go because you deserve to be loved. What do we have for Libra? You're obviously going to be in a tense situation right now. Oh, it's gonna, I was going to say you're dealing with a fire sign, and it, doesn't ha it could be fire, sun, moon, or rising. So it could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, sun, moon, or rising. I was going to say fire sign, and I should have just said it. Uh, this is somebody that is very controlling, very manipulative, uh, hysterical, throws fits. Um, isn't very grounded, very, very, uh, likes to fight a lot. There's somebody around you that can't keep their mouth shut. Um forceful, likes to force things. Uh, this is somebody that um, ha may have a self-image problem within themselves. Very feisty. Uh, moon. Could also be dealing with a Pisces or a Cancer. All is not as it seems. There could be some illness here. When you get a King or a Queen of Wands in reverse, there could be some illness, like physical illness. There's a lack of energy. There's could be some sickness here. All is not as it seems with the moon card. There's there's hidden forces here. There's something that is hidden. There's something that is hidden. You may not be seeing it. 
Ten of Wands reverse that is a collapse. It is making a conscious change. Perhaps you have given your power away to another person that has had complete control over you. Let me just get the rest of the cards. Lovers reversed right in the middle. So that is a separation. Page of Cups reversed. Okay. Three of Pentacles reversed. Let's just get that right. Um, Knight of Pentacles reversed. And Seven of Pentacles. And on the bottom is the Nine of Swords reversed, giving deep thought to a relationship. You need to listen to your gut. You've, we definitely have somebody here that is ill, they're sick, or they're depressed. There's been uh, extreme depression here, extreme worry, extremely worried. Um, you need to uh, break free from something that is some sort of illusion, okay? It's not. I mean, the moon is illusion, and I know a lot of people don't want to hear that, but it is. I think, and the Ten of Wands is breaking free. It is letting go. That is your outcome. That is your that is that is your outcome card. That Ten of Wands. So you need to let something go. You need to drop this weight. It's been weighing you down. It's been holding you down. It's been holding you back. You need to. Is it worth investing in something that isn't growing? Because the the last card out is the Ten of Seven of Pentacles. That's about investment. This is like. You're investing in something that is no longer fertile. There's no more growth here. It may be time to relocate, time to go someplace else, some time to plant your seeds elsewhere, you know? I feel like you're in some sort of partnership where there's a lack of compatibility. The very middle card of this spread is the lovers reversed. So this is no compatibility or no union. Uh, um, unhappy couple unhappy partnership, separation. I feel like you need to look a little bit deeper. The moon is right above that. There is something that you are not seeing, okay? You're not seeing it clearly. You, there could be some fantasy or illusion or deception, and that could even be self-deception, the moon. It is self de Because if you were to look a little bit deeper, which I, I, I think that you're probably trying to do, but you need to remember not to let your illusions and your fantasies get in the way of reality. Under Okay, we have the moon, the lovers, the knight of pentacles reversed. That's, that's the line up here, okay? One line. And the, the Knight of Pentacles reverse is, is not realistic. It's not practical. It's not stable. It's not solid. It's not real, okay? I feel like you have been uh, not... The, the, the Knight of Pentacles reversed is, is not being practical not being practical about a partnership in a state of illusion. You're dealing with somebody that uh, may already be in a relationship or they're, or, or, they're, or they're communicating with somebody else because we have the Queen of Wands reversed, the Ten of Cups, and the Three of, Three of Pentacles reversed. That is a third party situation, you know, developing a relationship or they're in a relationship with somebody else. There's another person, okay? There's another person that is that they are communicating with, that they are working with. They, they might actually work with this person. They could be in a home with this person. I do see you needing to release, needing to let go with the Ten of Wands, the overall outcome. This is baggage. It's holding you down. You need to be realistic. You need to be practical. And there's, there's a lot of illusion here right before that Ten of Wands is the moon, which is illusion, okay? That, that's fantasy. It, on the surface, it may look like this is, you know, the perfect match, but I'm not sure that it is, and I'm, I'm, sorry, to, I'm sorry to say that. I do feel like uh, you need to uh, plant your seeds someplace else. You need to stop reciprocating. There's a rejection here. The okay, we got the Ten of Cups, the Lovers, and the Page of Cups reversed. That's a lineup going this way. So the Ten of Cups is a relationship, lovers reverse, not compatible or not working out. There, there's a rejection, there's tears, there's sadness. This is something that isn't working out. So this is tens or completions. A lot of readers forget to mention that. They think, oh, the Ten of Cups is happily ever after. Well, you gotta look at the cards that are around it. There is somebody here where there is that you are dealing with where there is no growth. There's a lot of 
angst, okay? This person causes a lot of tense, causes you to be tense, you know? And, and I feel like they cause a lot of tension. And I feel like you need to really let this go. You need to let something go. You need to drop it. You need to make a conscious change to stop giving your heart away to somebody that isn't investing in you. Okay, so we get the Knight of Pentacles next to the set in reversed next to the Seven of Pentacles, and then we have the Three of Pentacles reversed here, written the same lineup. That's lack of teamwork, lack of respect, lack of communication, lack of collaboration, not learning, re unwilling, unwilling to try new things. You need you need to try something new. Perhaps you're afraid, you know that you know you'll never find anybody like this person. That that's just fear. That's just fear. And I feel like you're in a state of, I'm thinking, you're thinking a lot about the relationship that you're in, but there's a lot of fantasy there. I, I'm, I'm going to be completely honest with you. There's a lot of illusion. There's a lot of secrets. There's a lot of things that you are not acknowledging. And it's because you've invested so much in this so far, you know, you've been maybe seven to 10 years, maybe it's even longer. Um, I feel like you've invested a lot of time and energy into this, but I think it's I think that this season is over. I feel like there's unrequited love. The lovers reverse right next to the page of cups reverse. That's an unrequited love situation. That is one-sidedness. I feel like you need to uh, drop something. You need to drop something dropping weight drop this burden do not invest in a situation where there is no reciprocation you deserve love do you understand what i am saying you don't deserve to be ridiculed you don't deserve to be uh put down. I mean, it feels like somebody has been weighing you down. They've been holding you down. They're very forceful, whoever this person is. They like to force things. They like to bitch. No offense or anything. Um, and I feel like they have another person that they are communicating with or that they are in a relationship with. And it's hidden. There's something here that is hidden. This person that you're dealing with, um, they may also be held down. They may be held down by a partnership that is, is uh, maybe that's how they're feeling. Somebody that you are dealing with that has a self-image problem. They are in a relationship just for the money. We have the Three of Pentacles reversed, the Knight of Pentacles reversed, and the Seven of Pentacles. Could be with a Pisces or a Cancer or an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This person that you are dealing with is unwilling to compromise. There is somebody here that is unwilling to compromise with the three of pentacles reversed. Okay, they're unwilling to compromise. There is some sort of disconnection or detachment with the lovers reversed. I feel like there's a lack of love. person that you are dealing with is not in love and they're thinking about going someplace else but they don't have the financial means to do so knight of pentacles reverse that's a lack of of finances a lack of stability it's um, lack of common sense as well. There's you deal. We got somebody in this reading that lacks common sense. That I don't know there, if there's somebody here that feels inadequate with the Knight of Pentacles reverse. This is inadequate. 
you're dealing with somebody that is thinking about investing in something else. They're thinking about making a conscious change. It could be you. You are definitely in a tense situation and I feel like you are dealing with somebody that causes a lot of tension for you. There's lies here. There's lies. We got definitely with the moon card, that's lies. We have a liar here. There's a loveless situation. Somebody is in a loveless relationship. Yes, sir. They are. You're dealing with somebody that wants to have a relationship. They want it to look good. They want it to look good on the outside. This person lacks self-esteem, lacks self-confidence. Um, lacks common sense as well. They don't communicate well. They don't respect others very much. They don't work well with others. This person is holding you down. Somebody is holding you down. You're dealing with a big liar that you are that is that is costing you. Okay, it's costing you. It's it's wasting your time. I hate to say that. This is a waste of time. It's time to plant your seeds someplace else. It's it is. There's unfaithfulness here as well. With the with the Knight of Pentacles reverse, we have somebody here that is unfaithful. There's lies, there's deception, there's secrets. There's some things that you don't know about a person. You've got somebody here that, uh, I don't know if they're already in a relationship. There's somebody here that is already in a relationship that is communicating with somebody else and they're just looking for attention. This person just needs attention and they seek attention and they throw fits. They Get prepared because I feel like you're, you're gonna be dealing with somebody this week or very, very soon that, I don't know if this person is in a relationship with you or they want to have a relationship with you or you've been in a relationship with them in the, in, in the past because the moon can represent the past. This person may uh, throw a fit. They may cause some tension for you and may cause you to separate and leave them and drop them and walk away from them because of that. You're going to be separating from somebody. I think there could be an argument here. There could definitely be an argument here. I, I feel like you're going to be dealing with a tense situation this this week or in the next week and a half. There is somebody here that throws a lot of fits. Okay, this person is uh, gets hysterical, may scream and yell or something like that. That's what I see. I mean, that's what I see. Um, I do see the end of a relationship. This may have to do with a mother or a father or a sibling or could even be a friend or somebody that you work with. This is, this is, I think there's going to, it's almost like it's, I feel like it's like a showdown of some sort. I don't even know why I feel that way. I do believe that you are going to be making a conscious change. I think that you are going to be... Uh, this is sad though. It is sad. There is going to be, I feel like there could be some tears shed. Somebody could be leaving, this person could be leaving your life, you know, because they can't take it anymore. You know, some, because the Ten of Wands is a, is, it could be a collapse. Okay. Somebody could collapse, uh, or, or they just, um, let go. They walk away. They walk away. They leave, um, relocate they relocate there's a relocation here you may hear some news that somebody is relocating and it may be heartfelt it may be sad because of that i see relocation and then i see sadness um i also feel like you're dealing with somebody that is definitely has a self-image problem and they they get hysterical it's like an emotional outburst ahead this person may be a little bit younger than you i feel like it's either a pisces cancer scorpio or a aries leo sagittarius could also be a gemini but i really don't feel like it is i feel like you're going to be separating there's gonna the middle card is a lover's reverse which is a separation from an individual that has been hiding something from you they have been hiding something for you maybe it's an illness it it, it could be um 
there is going to be a separation and it's going to cause some tension in your life. So anyway, I do believe that there's some sort of rejection or somebody's about to get their bubble burst with a page of... And you could be bursting somebody's bubble. You may be the one that is, is saying, you know, I can't do this anymore. I see overwhelmed, overwhelmed. We have somebody here that has been working too much. They've been trying too hard. They've been overdoing it and they just can't do it anymore. And I feel like... Well, we have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Pisces, Cancer, and dropping, dropping this, dropping out, letting go. Can't do this anymore. This is too much. It is too much. Can't do this anymore. So, yeah, and I think that there's, there's going to be a separation from an individual uh, that you have been dealing with. Um, Dude, there's also somebody here that is it doesn't want to put in any effort. They're lazy. You know, they're lazy. They don't want to work. They want to get the reward, but they don't want to work. They may play on your emotions this week. You know, they maybe they they, they could have something to do with money because the last row is all about money. So there's something somebody here that is all about money. You know, they just need your money. They want your money. You may you may come to some sort of conclusion that, you know, you're not giving them money. You know, and that could cause a separation. Um, seven of Pentacles. All is not as it seems. We have a partnership that is not on the same page. This could even be an X because the Knight of Pentacles can represent in reverse can be an X. You could have an X here that is in a partnership that is not doing well. Okay, this part, it's all, it's all a lie. Okay, they're in a partnership. It's all a lie. It's not stable. It's not solid. There's a lack of respect for each other. They don't communicate well. And your ex is thinking about uh, relocating to you. We definitely have somebody here that is thinking about dropping a situation that they have been holding on to because there's a lack of reciprocation it's one-sided there's no passion we have an individual here that is giving deep thought to a relationship where you know there is uh Well, let me get another card. What are they thinking about? They think somebody is thinking about a relationship where there was happiness. They are. They want happiness. We got somebody here that is really thinking about happiness, and they're in some sort of partnership, or they're alone. It's like they're very, very lonely. There's disillusionment because because of there's loneliness due to disillusionment. Hierophant reversed. Commitment. Having a hard time doing the right thing because of society. Mm. <sighs> You're dealing with somebody that is under a lot of social pressure. This person, it's almost like this is a disgrace. There, it, this has to do with a mother or a father or somebody that has abused their, their authority. They've abused, there's some sort of a... This person isn't very spiritual. They've abused their authority. They're having a hard time doing the right thing due to social pressure. This is somebody that does isn't very spiritual, that doesn't have a lot of faith, that doesn't believe in themselves, that uh, is non-committal, that isn't really, really committed. There's somebody here that is in a commitment that... I don't feel like they want to be in this commitment. I don't feel like they do. The hero font reverse. This is like relationship problems. There is relationship problems here. There, there is a breakup. There is a split. There is a separation. Very sudden. Knight of Wands in reverse. That is a sudden. It's a sudden. Very sudden. This, this is like... Uh, it could be a sudden departure. I feel like this is a sudden departure. There's somebody that is going to be making a move. It's very spur of the moment. Taking action without thinking, just doing it, just making a move. There's somebody in your life. There is someone leaving your life. Or they have left your life. 
Now I got the Four of Wands in the upright. There's an upcoming celebration, an upcoming get together. This is a happy home, a happy foundation. Having fun, dancing, celebrating. You're going to be attending a celebration in the near future. I don't know, it could be a funeral, it could be a marriage. Um, somebody is leaving your life, they can't do it anymore. There's going to be a separation. Somebody is leaving your life. It's going to be, there's going to be some tears shed. Maybe you're letting them go with that 10 of wands. You're letting them go because you deserve love. Maybe you're going to be getting together with somebody new. There is somebody that is uh, holding you down that you need to let go of. And you know what? You know who it is. Good luck.